So I just finished cleaning up uh, a bunch of brass and it wasn't until I saw uh, the clean brass that I realized there was a problem with it and I thought it would make for a very nice little video. So case head separation. If you haven't had it happen and you reload, you will. And a lot of times you can predict it. Uh, sometimes you're pushing your brass a little too far and you know it's gonna happen. Other times it can take you by surprise. But let's look at one of the easiest indicators of your brass getting ready to case head separate. So I'm holding my camera this time so I can get a better focus on it. But see that line? Let me see if I can get. See that line that's right there on the brass? So that this brass has been uh, shot nine times and, uh, you know, under different conditions and stuff. And everybody's situation is going to be a little different based on how they size their brass and stuff like that. But at some point, you're going to see that there's a good shot of it. You're going to see this line form on your brass somewhere, depending on how you size. So... That line indicates this brass is done, right? And if you look at another piece of brass that isn't, you can almost see a faint little line right there again, but it's, you know, this is out of the same batch of brass, but it's not quite there yet. And uh, this whole batch, you, you can see um, it's full of lines. So again, this one's really clear. Big line, big line, okay. So what's happening? Well, you know, Eric did a really good video during his annealing where he took a piece of brass, put it in a vise, bent it a bunch of times until it snapped. Um, to put it in more simple terms, have you ever played with a paper clip long enough where you, you bend it back and forth and after five, six times it snaps? It's because the metal literally work hardens to the point where it becomes brittle. And... That's what's happening with your brass. So even though you may anneal and stuff, uh, you know, you're not annealing all the way down here into the base. Uh, you, you don't want to. Uh, but at some point, this brass is going to work harden enough that your sizing causes a point on the brass, uh, you know, meaning this point all the way around, to work harden to the point where it wants to, you know, become brittle and crack. And that will lead to a very beautifully, almost laser cut line across your brass when you fire it. Maybe next time, the time after. So what does that look like on the inside of the brass? Well, let's take right, a look. Let's look at this one first. So if you remember, this one has this really gnarly, just almost like you took a scoring blade, you know, like a carbide tipped, you know, maybe your calipers and just made a beautiful circle. So let's take a look inside. And here we go. Down into the body here. You're going to see we're going to go past the ring. And I'm just going to go down and touch the bottom. You can see the flash hole. And then we're going to come back up a little bit. And that is what the ring looks like on the inside. And that will ultimately turn into your case head separation. Pretty crazy, huh? Now we have this one, and this one has been annealed. It is actually, believe it or not, fired the same number of times, okay? So this brass all came from a buddy of mine. Um, I was going to do a little uh, playing around, and he had some brass that he was getting rid of, and, you know, I thought, well, it would make for a couple of good videos, and, and I could play around with it a little bit. So these both have nine firing. So here's the one we just looked at inside, and you saw what that looked like. I mean, it's pretty gnarly in there. Now, this is from uh, the same batch of brass, and this has been fired nine times. Uh, same batch of brass, but a different, um, I should say same lot of brass, a different batch. So he keeps them just like I do in batches of 100. This was all from one batch of 100 that he had done different testing with. This is from a different batch of brass. So same number of firings. Let's see what this looks like inside, but you can see no indications on the outside. This is just normal looking brass, nothing weird about it. So let's take a dive inside and see what it looks like. Here we go again. Yay. Okay. Here we are inside and you will see no visible line on the inside. There we are at the bottom again. You can see the flash hole and we're going to come back up and there is nothing there. 
no sign of any issues. There's the uh, shoulder and the neck junction, and that's it, clean as a whistle inside. So what does this all mean? Well, it means you gotta look at your brass. When you're cleaning it, when you're reloading, you need to look for signs. And a lot of people who aren't familiar with reloading would pass this over, especially, you know, when it's a little less pronounced like this one, you know, it just kind of has this little ghost line on there. It doesn't look like it's fully etched, but you got to know what this stuff is because it's how you stay safe and it's how you prevent problems. Again, no real indication, the beginnings of an indication. And, and you're going to know what to do with that brass. You know, that line shows up. It doesn't mean I throw it away right away. You know, like I said, you're going to see, you know, like here's a really faint one. And if I wasn't shooting a match and I was, you know, doing some testing or something, I might go ahead and load this up another time. And, and you know, that probably would be it. Um, this would not be match brass by any means. I mean, at all. Um, if I see any kind of line forming, there is no way that that, that batch of brass is going to become match brass. And, and the reason I say that is, how do you know if, if you've got a hundred pieces of brass, like I do, you know, so I've got a box of brass, this brass is always in it. If half of these start showing lines, how do I know the others aren't potentially failing as well? So it's not a matter of, oh, well, I'm going to take out the ones that have lines and kind of call them out and, and, you know, keep shooting the rest. Uh, no, cause that's one, it's not safe. And two, it's probably not going to be as accurate. So, you know, when you see a batch of brass and, you know, it starts forming lines, it's really time to consider a new batch of brass.